Hello, all you curious minds out there, welcome back to our channel where we explore the fascinating world of science and beyond. Today, we're setting sail on a cosmic voyage to the realm of megastructures that dwarf our humble earthly constructions. We're talking about something that could, in theory, harness the full power of a star. Yes, you heard it right. We're venturing into the domain of the Dyson Sphere. The Dyson Sphere is a concept that has its roots deeply embedded in the fertile soil of science fiction. It was first proposed by physicist and mathematician Freeman Dyson, who envisioned an enormous structure encompassing a star, capturing a significant portion, if not all, of its energy output. Now imagine if we could construct such a megastructure. It's a thought that's as exhilarating as it is daunting. Over the years, the idea of a Dyson sphere has been popularized in various media. It's been a staple of science fiction literature a recurrent theme in films, and a tantalizing plot device in video games. The notion of an advanced civilization harnessing the power of a star is both intriguing and awe-inspiring. After all, who wouldn't be captivated by the thought of such an immense power source at our disposal? But while the Dyson Sphere remains a concept in the realm of the speculative, it's a concept that never fails to ignite our imaginations. It's a testament to our relentless pursuit of knowledge and our insatiable curiosity. It's a reflection of our desire to push the boundaries of what's possible, to reach beyond our limitations, and to dream of a future where the energy of a star could be within our grasp. So what would happen if we actually built a Dyson Sphere? How would it transform our civilization? What impact would it have on our lives and our understanding of the universe? These are questions that tantalize us, that beckon us to delve deeper. So let's embark on this journey together. Let's delve into this mind-boggling question. Imagine harnessing the entire energy of a star. Sounds like a dream, right? The Sun, a star at the center of our solar system, is a powerhouse of energy. It's a giant nuclear furnace where hydrogen atoms collide to form helium. And in this process, a tremendous amount of energy is released. This energy, in the form of light and heat, radiates out into space, bathing our planet in life-giving warmth and light. Let's put this into perspective. The Sun produces about 400 trillion trillion watts of energy every second. That's a one with 26 zeros behind it. To compare, the entire human race uses about 18 terawatts of energy annually. That's a one with 12 zeros. If you do the math, you'll find that the Sun produces in one second what humanity uses in a whole year. Now, imagine if we could capture all this energy. We could power our cities, our industries, our technology, our entire civilization, and still have energy to spare. We could venture into the deepest corners of space, push the boundaries of scientific discovery, and elevate humanity to a level of technological advancement that we can barely dream of today. This is the potential of solar energy on a cosmic scale. And this is where the concept of a Dyson Sphere comes in. Named after the physicist Freeman Dyson, it's a hypothetical megastructure that surrounds a star, capturing most or all of its energy output. Building such a structure would be a task of unimaginable proportions. We're talking about a project that would require materials and technology far beyond our current capabilities. But the potential rewards, they are equally unimaginable. The energy of a star could power our civilization for eons. But how feasible is it to build a Dyson Sphere? Well, that's a question for another day. For now, let's marvel at the power of a star and dream of the day when we might harness it for the betterment of all humanity. Building a Dyson Sphere isn't a walk in the park. It would be the most colossal undertaking humanity has ever embarked on. Picture this, crafting a structure that encapsulates an entire star, harnessing its energy output. It's a concept that makes our grandest architectural marvels seem like child's play. First off, we'd need to grapple with the sheer amount of material required. We're not talking about a few truckloads of cement and steel, no, we're talking about an amount of matter that dwarfs the combined mass of all the planets in our solar system. To get a sense of the scale, if we were to dismantle our very own Earth to provide the raw materials, it wouldn't even scratch the surface. Then there's the technological challenge. Our current technology is nowhere near capable of such an endeavor. The construction of a Dyson Sphere would demand advancements in material science, energy storage, space travel and robotics, to name a few. And that's not even considering the, the engineering hurdles of building a stable structure around a star, a seething ball of plasma with a surface temperature of thousands of degrees and the time it would take. It's hard to even fathom. 
Even with the most optimistic projections, we're looking at thousands, if not millions of years. Imagine a project that spans generations, where the architects of the project will never live to see its completion. It's a timescale that's almost beyond human comprehension. But despite these astronomical challenges, let's not dismiss the idea outright. History is full of examples of humanity achieving what was once thought impossible. From the pyramids of Egypt to the International Space Station, we've continually pushed the envelope of what's achievable. Sure, a Dyson sphere may seem impossible now, but who knows what the future holds? The challenges seem insurmountable, but let's not forget the human spirit that has always strived to conquer the impossible. Suppose we overcame all challenges and built a Dyson sphere. What would life be like living inside one? Let's take a moment to imagine the unimaginable. Living in a Dyson Sphere would not be anything like living on Earth or any other planet for that matter. It would be a reality where the laws of nature as we know them are turned on their heads. First, let's consider gravity. Inside a Dyson Sphere, gravity wouldn't pull you down towards the sphere's surface like on Earth. Instead, it would pull you outward towards the shell of the sphere. This is because the sphere's mass would be distributed around you and gravity pulls towards the center of mass. So, you'd be living on the inside surface of a hollow sphere with the sky falling away from you in all directions. Next, think about the climate. The Dyson sphere would be designed to absorb and utilize almost all of the star's energy. This would mean a constant, unending daylight, with temperatures regulated to be comfortable throughout. There would be no day-night cycle, no seasons, just a constant, unchanging climate. And then there's the view. Imagine standing on the inside surface of a Dyson sphere, looking up at the sky. You wouldn't see a single bright point of light like our sun. Instead, the entire sky would be the surface of a star, a shimmering, glowing field of energy. It would be a sight to take your breath away, a panorama of starlight like nothing we've ever seen. But with all these radical changes, would we as humans be ready to adapt? Could we thrive in a world without nights, without seasons, with gravity pulling in the wrong direction? Could we cope with the psychological impact of living inside a sphere, with the sky curving away from us in all directions? Living inside a Dyson sphere would be unlike anything we've ever experienced, but are we ready for such a drastic change? Building a Dyson Sphere would not only impact us, but the entire universe. Just ponder that statement for a moment. Imagine a structure so massive, so audacious, that it could influence not just our tiny corner of the cosmos, but the entire universe. The effects of a Dyson Sphere would be far-reaching, to say the least. Let's start with the fact that it would be detectable from across the cosmos. Once constructed, the Dyson Sphere would effectively cloak its star, making it invisible to traditional telescopes. However, the sphere itself would emit a significant amount of waste heat, which could be detected as a faint infrared glow. This glow would be a telltale sign to other civilizations. A beacon broadcasting here lies an advanced civilization. In addition, let's consider the impact on the star's planetary system. A Dyson sphere would blot out the star from the outside world, but what about the planets orbiting that star? They would be plunged into perpetual darkness and eternal night. Their climates would change drastically, possibly becoming uninhabitable. The gravitational effects of such a massive structure could also disrupt the orbits of these planets, leading to catastrophic consequences, but the most significant impact would be on us, the builders of this colossal structure. The construction of a Dyson Sphere would signal our transition from a Type 1 to a Type 2 civilization on the Kardashev scale, a civilization capable of harnessing the energy of an entire star. It would be a testament to our technological prowess and a symbol of our reach into the cosmos. However, with such a monumental achievement comes great responsibility. Are we ready to make our presence known to the universe? Are we prepared to deal with the potential consequences of our actions? These are questions we must grapple with as we continue to push the boundaries of our technological capabilities. A Dyson Sphere could be a beacon of an advanced civilization, a testament to our technological prowess. But are we ready to make our presence known to the universe?